Greetings. Please find a comfortable seat and allow your body to settle. Consider guiding the inhales and the exhales to be longer and smoother so that you might experience a state of mind called shamatha, often translated as calm abiding. Your inhales help you feel more awake, the exhales more calm, and if you can balance this calmness, the clarity, the stability, your mind can reflect not only the subtleties of the present moment, but also the big picture. The theme for our practice today will be on Samadhi, the eighth limb of yoga. In Buddhism, it is synonymous with meditation, concentration. But in yoga, the Yoga Sutra, it is often translated as bliss, union, integration. My favorite is harmony. And in the third chapter, the third sutra, it is defined specifically as that profound meditation where a false sense of self that was holding you back or afflicting your mind becomes absent, shunya. So I'll ask you to practice a technique called the chara, inquiry meditation, which is like mindfulness, where you simply observe whatever arises with a non-judgmental mind, meaning without grasping to any expectation of how things are supposed to be. Just simply observe what arises when you ask yourself the question, who am I? It might be an automatic answer or an automatic silence. But just let things settle. And then when you decide it's the right time, ask again, who am I? The age-old question can be asked multiple times. Your challenge, if you choose to accept it, is to to ask it with beginner's mind, where you don't decide in advance what the answer is going to be, but you try to observe the reality of the present as though you were a child seeing things for the first time, fresh eyes and a fresh mind. Who am I? To help you navigate between the extremes of the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere of your brain, the left hemisphere tends to have a very narrow view of reality that hones in on details and tends to remove anything that it doesn't find helpful, which is good for making distinctions, but can lead to a very um, distorted view of reality if that's the hemisphere that's dominant. Uh, compared, in contrast, the right hemisphere is a much broader view, likes to see how things fit together, things that don't fit into the uh, pre-expected uh, boxes. Uh, but could also be a distorted view if we're all right all the time. So here's a mantra that answers the age-old question, who am I? It's, Twameva mata chapita twameva. You are my mother and my father. Twameva bandushcha sakha twameva. You are my family. You are my friend. Twameva vidya dravinam twameva. You are knowledge. You are wealth. Vameva Sarvam, Mama Deva Deva. You are everything, the most divine of the divine. So feel free to sing this mantra with me, or just continue to settle with the help of your long, gentle breathing. Tvameva Mata Bantu
Attempt to make your inhales and exhales equal in length, and volume, as a meditative technique for remaining present with shamatha, calm, clear, abiding state of mind. And then find your way to the mountain pose at the front of your mat with the ujjayi breath. We'll meet in 30 seconds. Inhale, 
peaceful warrior. Exhale, extend it side angle.
one, you can flip your palms down to the Pada Hastasana B. And bend your elbows for an interesting sensation in the wrists. Or even straighten your arms for perhaps even a stretch in the biceps.
rest your legs at the wall on Stairway to Heaven. Thank you. 
Please allow your breath to come and go with more awareness. And if you wish, take your time to rise up to a comfortable seat. Consider singing this mantra with me one more time. Namaste.